every, everything counts, everything matters, everything we do matters. We want, we want to be able to uh, predict the movements of what, what he does, and we can do that with punching. I can predict how, what he does when I'm punching. So um, when I'm in this position and I'm punching, I'm here like this, or I can still stay here. Like if his, if his leg is bent like this, this way. So these are little small details that are gonna make a big difference. Like if his leg is bent like this, I'm not gonna spend time trying to pry it open. I'm just gonna stay here so he can't get it inside there. So I'll just I'll just do it from here, no problem. So I've gotten here, I'm punching, bang. But what I want him to do is I want him to bring this arm up to block. So how do I do that? I punch him on the other side of his head. Just, just do that. Because if I'm punching him here, he's gonna block with this hand. He'll still have this one up, but it might be like this. But I want him to use the meat of his arm to block this punch. So I'm going to, see, look, now he gives me the elbow. That's what I want. I want the elbow. As soon as he does that, release this, release the right hand. I'm going to put it on his elbow, and then I'm going to go here. All right, now, very specific details in this, all right? I hold his elbow up. I go under his head with my left arm. Now, when a lot of people try to do the arm triangle, they try to get the position, they hold it, then they release their body, and they try to maneuver it in. But you can't maneuver it in, really. Sometimes, more often than not, you can't, especially against a good guy, if, you've already, if you're already on the side of him, because he's got his whole body to create space and leverage. He's moving around, he's bridging his hips, and he's creating space. And if I'm doing that, this little bit of space that I have in here, and if I'm already on the side, He's gonna turn this little bit of space into that much space because he can move his legs and, and his body around. So everything that I do in order to establish the position up here, I need to do it while I'm still in control of his legs. All right, it's very important not to release to the side until I get what I want here. It's the most important thing about this finish. I need to get it here while I'm still here. All right, so I was here. Boom, he gave it all on purpose, exactly what I wanted. Hold it in place, go under his head. Hand flat, now here's the important part. I'm gonna put this hand up here, I'm gonna drive forward and put my head right next to his head and my forehead on the floor. You feel that already? Right. Yeah, right. and that's what I want. All right, I'm not gonna hold my hands like this and do this to try to come out because he's going to get out. I'm never, you're never going to finish that against a good guy. I promise you, you won't. Take more work. You won't. All right? But holding this here, going under, hand flat, using this to push myself close to him. Here. Right. You can feel I don't yeah. want to be too long. That's funny. Yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll go out from the half. Yeah. Like that. That's crazy. So I'm using this to push myself close to him like this. Here, it's in, in the spot, then I come out. I leave my elbow on the floor, and I come out to the side. I don't even have to rely, because I've created so much pressure and so much squeeze while I was still here. All the squeeze and the pressure is done while you're still locked in this half guard. Use this arm to push yourself into him, then raise your hips, knee slide out to the side. It's a wrap as soon as you land. All right, I'll do it one more time. All right, get the arm. Again, I got, this is what I have. Like, I don't have to force, I don't have to, uh, come on, get out there. Just punch him. <laughs> <laughs> Give it to me. Perfect. Down and up and over. Raise the hips. Knee slide out. It's a finish. All right, questions? One, two, three.